sudden I hear, pick it up, trailer park Jesus. <laughs> and I'm thinking, trailer park Jesus, that's new. But it just kind of stuck, and now everybody just kind of goes with it, so I kind of like it. It doesn't offend you? No, it doesn't offend me at all. I actually take it as a compliment. Uh, everybody says that I remember, remind them of one of the trailer park boys. And I've never really seen the show, but they seem like a good group of guys, so I <laughs> kind of go along with it. What has the process been like for you? You know, coming in as a walk-on and now earning a scholarship. Yeah, honestly, it's been really neat. Uh, it's kind of just like living out of the dream. Honestly, I never thought I'd be up here talking to you guys, so that's really neat. And, uh, you know, it, it's something that a lot of people don't understand, but kind of when you sign up for the walk-up deal, you, you sign into something bigger than yourself. So you kind of buy into the team and buy out of yourself. And, and it, there's something rewarding in that as well. And so I think, I think really it's paid off. And uh, I'm honestly blessed to, to be in the situation I am. And hopefully I can uh, help my team out on Saturday. What were those first couple of years like, you know, on the scout team or whatever role you had, just kind of taking the brunt of it as a, as a walk -on? Uh, I mean, it's, it's difficult. And, you know, sometimes you, you question yourself and question why you're doing it. But then it kind of goes back to what I said, you know, something bigger than yourself. And that's kind of always the mindset I went with. And I was always told, my dad was always like, you know, just stick with it, you know, things are gonna work out. You you know, just keep doing what you're doing and, and things are gonna work out. And, and honestly, it's been been really rewarding for me so far. And so I wouldn't change a thing. Did you um, have scholarship offers out of high school? Could you have gone a different route? And why did you choose that one? Uh, to tell you the truth, I really didn't have any scholarships out of um, high school. My, I, I got offered by Valdosta State and the same day they offered me, they called me back later and said they had offered another guy and rescinded it. So, you know, I, I really didn't have many options. And this was kind of kind of like a last minute thing and send my film up here. I didn't think to ever send my film up here before because I was like, you know, if nobody else wants me, why would Alabama? And, uh, you know, I got feedback. They said, come visit. And they said, you know, you can come be a preferred walk-on. And so I just kind of took it and ran with it. And here we are. So it paid off and I'm, I wouldn't have changed it for any other way. Had it even crossed your mind that that could be a possibility or just wasn't even on your radar? You know, as a walk-on, it's always on the back of your mind, like, God, am I going to get the scholarship? Am, am I going to earn it? And so, it, obviously, it was something that I always thought of and wanted. But to tell you the truth, I, I felt like maybe I hadn't even earned it yet. You know, I've, I've seen two, I've seen maybe ten snaps in a game, and two games where we were winning by a lot, and I got kind of trash time. So I was like, maybe, maybe I haven't earned it yet. So maybe I need to go out there and showcase my ability on the actual field. And, and give them a reason to. So I really wasn't too worried about it. You know, I'd, I'd thought about it, but at the end of the day, I wasn't worried about it. I was just worried about doing my job. What's this your was the first time you really asked Coach Saban who you were? <laughs> um, oh, freshman year when he yelled at me at LSU week, I remember that. But no, uh, really, um, the first time I ever, I ever really realized was when I started traveling towards the end of the year last year. And I was like, okay, maybe I am making an impact, and maybe I do have an opportunity to to help this team in a positive manner. Was there, was there ever a moment where you thought maybe this isn't worth it, maybe I can just be a college student? Uh, yeah, it, it definitely did cross my mind. I'd be lying if I tell you, told you it didn't. Uh, my freshman year was really hard. It was my first time being away from home. You know, I was really homesick and I was texting my daddy. Honestly, my freshman summer, I didn't even know if I was gonna make the team. You know, we had a lot of talent in that room and, and I was like, Dad, I don't even know if I'm gonna make the team. I, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I if I don't like I don't know if I'm just gonna be a regular student and even sometimes it got hard where I was like maybe maybe I should just quit but you know I stuck with it and um, and here we are so I'm really glad I stuck with it and when, when did this start becoming in your mind a possibility that hey you know I, I could really make a difference on this team um I would say really uh, last year when I, I got in my first game and you know I was really nervous and and I just kind of went out. I was like, you know, just just play. You've been playing ball your whole life. Just do it. And so you, you kind of just instincts take over, and you don't really think as much, and you just play. And I was like, you know what? I think I could do this. I was like, you know, it's it's kind of been a far fetched thing, but I think I could really like impact on this team and and really play with these boys. So that really was the first time that I I thought that I could actually make an impact. Do you remember that play? One or two more. Yes, I do. Uh, it was against Louisiana Lafayette, and it was a uh, it was a zone run outside and. And I, I was blocking a guy, and I was like, yeah, I could do this. I was like, yeah, I mean, these are good. I mean, Louisiana Lafayette, very good team as well. But, you know, you're like, I can do this. I can play with them. So.